So now we're going to show you how to create a, a Facebook landing page. And the first, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. And I do it the simplest way uh, where there's the least amount of code possible because there, there is some kind of coding involved. It's, it's a language called FBML. Um, you know, if you, if you wanted to get fancy, you could add things like uh, your newsletter sign up, uh, some videos or stuff like that, which I will go over in future videos. But this is just your most simplest landing page. It's really easy to create and it's, you know, it totally works. So the first thing that you're going to need is an image. You know, your image is the landing page, you know, a whole JPEG image. So as you can see here, I created a, just a quick one here on, uh, on Photoshop. And again, I'll have this PSD file because it has the like button that you could borrow and the, the correct size. The width is 520 pixels. The height can be whatever you want it to be, but I have it at 525 and I'll show you why in a second. But again, here you want to put info about you, why people should like you, what's your, what your business is about and, and what you can help them if you, if they do become a fan, if they do like your page. So this is the image that I created here. Um, and what you need to do with this image is you need to upload it onto a website somewhere. If you have a, a blog or a server that, that you own, put it on there, get the link for it because you're going to need that link to that image. And if you have a WordPress blog, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. If you're in your dashboard, click here on the left hand side to add new underneath media and then select your file. My file name is sample FB landing page dot JPEG. And then it's going to upload it there. And what we want to remember or, or write down is the link that comes along with that. So it's uploaded on there and I can see the file URL here. So I'm going to copy that, open up my notepad and just paste it there. So there, uh, you're going to need that later. If you don't have a website, you can upload it to places like image shack or Flickr or photo bucket. You just need to upload it somewhere where you can get a link that looks kind of like this link right here with a URL and then the image.jpg at the very end. So after you have that image uh, and, and the location of it, next we have to actually create our Facebook landing page tab. And the way to do that is we go back to our edit page underneath our profile picture and then click on apps. It's the fourth from the bottom right there. Now here, actually we're going to be looking for this specific application right here, static FBML. Again, that's static FBML. That's what we want. It may or may not show up here for you under apps you may like. If it doesn't, go to browse more applications, search for it. Again, that's S-T-A-T-I-C space F-B-M-L, enter, and you'll see it here. Click on the icon or the name and then click on add to my page that's what we want it to do if you already had it in the apps you may like um, you'll see this button there apps to my page that's what we want to click and then it's going to ask you which page you want to add it on if you have more than one so I'm going to click on it there and this is Pat's sample page so I'm going to add it to that page close now I'm going to go back to my page just like the way I told you under account and manage pages go to page and you'll see at the top, it created this tab here called FBML1. Now, if I click on it, it there's nothing. It's a blank page. That's what we're going to work on right now, how to fill that page with that image so that becomes our landing page. So again, I'm going to go back to... Uh, I'm going to go back to Edit Page. Now I'm going to go back to Apps once again. And I'm going to scroll down to Static... FBML or FBML FBML if that's what it says uh, and I'm gonna click on go to app right here go to app not edit settings go to app now this is where you want to put the code in that will read where your image is so that when people land on this page they see that image um, again which is where you introduce yourself to people now I'm gonna name the box title welcome and for the code, this is the part that um, kind of messed a lot of people up. And I will have this code on my blog for people to copy. But it's really simple. Uh, it's, it's your basic image code. So it's actually uh, kind of the less than symbol, symbol IMG space SRC equals 
quotations. And then I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to put another quotation to close it. And then the greater than symbol. And that's it. So it's going to read this image and put it on the screen uh, exactly where we uploaded it. So I'm going to save changes. Now hopefully, I'm going to click uh, up here to go back to my page. When I click on Welcome, you'll see that page pop up. And there it is. Now the cool thing that I like just learned how to do uh, was to kind of connect these two images together. Um, I don't know if you, you see that, but it kind of they kind of go along together here. As you can see, this is kind of a continuous kind of circle here. And that's something uh, you can experiment with. You know, the, this is the first time I did this was with actually this example. So I'm going to be adding some elements like that, uh, you know, maybe some cool things going across here like that. Or I don't know. Just You can mess around with it. But as you can see, this is the page that people see first when they come to my uh, Facebook page, and it tells them, please click like at the top. Now that's a very clear call to action that you wanna have, and then also information underneath. And again, this image here is a 520 by 525 image, and the reason why it's 525 is because it kind of cuts off at the same area as this image here. Uh, so yeah, that's how you create that landing page. Now, how do you make it so that people see that page first? Now there's a couple things you need to know here. First, uh, it might not be possible for everyone. Um, I, you know, a lot of people who have came to me said, "Pat, I don't have the ability to do this the way you told me to do it." And some people don't. And it might depend on when you became a Facebook member. I don't know. But even if you're not, there is a way to get people to land on there. First, I'm going to show you. So first, I'm going to show you the regular way. Underneath your profile picture, go to Edit Page once again, uh, and then. Go to Manage Permissions. It's the very top one here. And then what you want to do is you want to change your default landing tab. That's what you need to select. That's what people will see first. If you leave it on a wall, people will go to your wall first. Change that to Welcome. And then, or whatever you named that landing, uh, that page that we just did. And then click on Save Changes. Now every time someone comes to this page first, they're going to go to my Welcome page. Now, if you don't have this option, and I think some people don't, uh, I mean, they're telling me they don't, you can still bring people to that page first, uh, and this is how you do it. Head on over back to the FBML application by going to Apps. So we're gonna scroll down, and then click, instead of clicking on Go to App, like we did to edit it, you're gonna click on Link to this tab right here. So let's click on that. Now this, is the link that will always bring people to your welcome page no matter what. Always bring people to your landing page. So copy that. You can put it in a WordPress plugin, for example, like Pretty Link, uh, so that you can have a really nice URL instead of this crazy one with all the numbers and stuff. That makes it really easy to get people to go on your page first. You can even buy your own uh, you know, domain name for it. Like I have patonfacebook.com. Um, Pat on Facebook, and that always brings people to my landing page. Uh, so it, you can buy your own domain name, you know, Joe on Facebook, and then, you know, that will be your redirect URL. And then whenever you say Joe on Facebook or you, whenever you link to Joe on Facebook, it'll take people to your landing page. Um, now, the last thing I want to tell you is if you don't have 25 fans, you won't be able to, uh, to get a custom kind of, uh, URL because right now your your page is like facebook.com slash ID 172023111 all this you know all these crazy numbers in order to get a nice looking URL you have to go to facebook.com slash username and when you go there you have the ability to rename the page uh, for example Pat's sample page now it says, uh, Pat's sample page is not eligible for a username at this time. In the future, Pat's sample page will be able to set a username. And I know that that can happen when you have 25 fans or more. Excuse me, 25 fans. So once you get 25 fans, this will change, and you will be able to check and add your own name to it. Uh, so mine, for example, is facebook.com slash 
smart passive income and that takes them to my page there and then my welcome page is actually right there the you know if you weren't a fan already this is what you would see and I kind of have them connecting because I have an arrow pointing to all these things about what I am uh, but I think I'm going to go a little bit uh, you know I'm going to go one step further and kind of uh, make the design similar too, just like I did on the other one here uh, let's see click on this welcome tab there you go see how the design kind of goes together so that's it that's that's how you can create a Facebook page and then create a Facebook landing page so for all of that information uh, you know all in one spot and all also the PSD files and everything you know head on over to this website so you can get all those things again that's smart passive income that's my blog dot com slash Facebook and that'll redirect you to the posts where I talk about this and have all those files the uh, the image screen file for your landing page the PSD files to the 200 by 600 image and also the uh, this image here um, so you can have that like button so yeah that's it thank you guys so much I really appreciate it um, head on over to the blog, and I'll talk to you guys soon in another video, uh, hopefully about Facebook and doing some more incredible things with it. So thank you. Talk to you guys later, and have a good one. Bye.